What's shaking everyone? You are watching Noble Joy Gaming with another episode of Star Citizen Alpha Patch 3.0. And tonight we're just cruising on the verse, flying around, trying out different ships. And tonight I got a sh one of my favorite ships we are flying. And that's the <clears throat> design uh, Zeon Cartuald. Absolutely wicked ship. Which ship are you guys pumped about for uh, 3.0? What ship are you guys, uh, what's your dream ship right now? Now we're still on, obviously we're still on the PTU guys, so they are getting a lot better with the lag and the bug fixes, but they're still lag, so here's your courtesy heads up right now. Bear with me if we get some lag. See, this ship is pimping, man. Has dreadful weapons, though. Seems like about every 20 seconds, I get about a three second lag spike. Such destination. All right, let's get this party started. Ooh, look at it. Ooh, this one has a really sweet ass map. It has the uh, in game map. Look at that. Although, I don't know how correct it is, but. Where the hell is it? Slow down, slow down. Oh, yeah, they. Stop. Okay, where are we now? I'm gonna assume it's the other direction. Where's the damn target, man? Okay. Let's try this again. Destination. Yes, F1. Let's try this again. Oh, it's right there. No, don't get out of the ship, stupid. No! 
Close the door. Jump. One mean shit, man. I love it. This thing has the coolest effects. <clears throat> Look at the trails. Very sweet, man. Yeah, man. No, I, I find it an absolute shame that it has such crappy weapons. It's a light fighter. I mean, like, these pea shooters don't do very much. It doesn't have missiles or nothing. It's too bad. It's such a sexy shit, man. Like. Watch the stream tail. Hey, is that Port Ollie? There's old Port Ollie. Oop, leg. I don't know why I'm having trouble traveling with this thing. I never had trouble with any other ships. Destroy Damer. Set a destination. Okay. One Damer. I wonder if any other ships have this technology. It's pretty sweet, man.
Okay, there's Dame Irv. I don't see it. Look, deselected again. Uh, Oh yeah, baby. <laughs> yeah. It's one mean shit, baby. If you guys are enjoying the stream, please hit that like button and subscribe. Show your support. I know we're still seeing some bugs here, guys, and a bit of lag, but. It's only gonna get better. See that? It says, hi, thanks for coming. It keeps popping up on my screen. That's well, clearly a bug. Okay, Dunlo Bridge Emergency Shelter. Well, to start. And this ship is quite fast. I think it clocks at If they could get some real rock star stability, it'd be so great. Because it's absolutely gorgeous. Like, look at this, man. It's fantastic. I just sit back and kind of just stare in awe. <laughs> I just can't wait till everyone else gets access to. More the merrier, man. We are approaching DMR, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, I can't remember the button for turning off decoupled mode. Ledger, 
No. Is that right? Were the turtles? It's a good factoid. <laughs> How you doing, Josh, man? Welcome to the stream, pal. I need to figure out how to turn off decoupled mode. Oh, hell yeah. Yeah, but you get a leg spike every 20 seconds, 30 seconds or so. But it's not too bad. It's still much, much better than what it was. Ships are rocking. Don't come knocking. I'm going pretty fast. Hear the noise, isn't that cool? Yeah, it's stupid. I can't figure out how to turn off the uh, thing I'm above. That should slow down a bit. Yeah, it's obviously still a little bit of bumpy, but the ship's rocky too, so. There we go. It's going to be tricky to land, I think, but we should be able to pull it off, I think, guys.
I don't know. That's a good question, man. I, mean, I think you can because I think there's a there's a store in Port Alazar. It's a, called junk and stuff, and you can buy like coolers and shield packs and stuff. I don't know if they if they work though. This thing definitely would need a stronger shield pack too. I just wish they gave this shit better guns. This guns are garbage. And they de they don't classify it as a scout anymore. They classify it as a light fighter. These guns wouldn't be able to take down a duck. Oh, it actually, that's sweet, man. This ship actually tells you when to move and stuff, too. Very cool. Was it like a sandstorm or something? Holy crap. This ship's really finicky, it's real touchy. <laughs> so on his leg, it makes it twice as hard to deal with. Man, this thing's burning. I love it. Damn leg. God, this thing's fire.
Come on, go forward, you clown. All that decouple mode garbage. Good grief, man. This ship is hard to control. I don't know why it's drifting like that. Okay, well, land successful. No, set up right, stupid. <laughs> Lean over. Power off. We can walk. Yeah, Damar looks cool, man. I had bullets. It's the, um, I forget the MK something. It's the biggest one you can get at Port Ali. Controls they change. Why would they change it? Put your weapon down, buddy. Come on. All oh, these stupid doors.
be cool if you could respawn here. Frankly, it'd be nice just not to support a port all of there anymore. Or Grim Hex. So is there any purpose to these outposts or So accepted and active. What you talking about with us? I understand what the point of this is. Hope you guys are enjoying the stream. Please like and subscribe, guys. <clears throat> Again, it's just a quiet, chilled stream. Nothing too fantastic. I find this helmet is intrusive. Hurry up, moron. Put the fucking gun down, it'd probably help. Clown. It's cool, you can actually appreciate the size of this thing out here.
And thanks for tuning in to this relaxing, chilled stream, guys. You're watching Noble Droid Gaming. Please be sure to like and subscribe and just sit back and chill. I could probably do that. <laughs> This ship is acting really sketchy. Let's see if I can straighten this bad boy out. Okay. Yes, yeah, go that way.
to Cape Cod. So we get the storm overnight, and Boston goes well through the day on Saturday. They're already gusting over 50 miles an hour, headed to 60 and 70 mile per hour winds. They're going to go over two feet, probably a top five snowstorm in the Boston area. And the heavy snow continues into tomorrow morning. So blizzard warnings for us all the way up the coast into southern New England as well. The New York City area closing in on 10 inches, but up to a foot, maybe a foot and a half in Connecticut and Long Island. An epic storm, the blizzard of 2013. David. WABC's Lee Goldberg tonight, Lee, thanks. Now to that incredible drama that unfolded in Alabama this week. David, you spoke exclusively with the family of Ethan. They're so grateful to have their little boy home, Elizabeth, as you know. Tonight, the first video of Ethan after being rescued at his sixth birthday party. And tonight, right here, the FBI reveals why they thought Ethan was about to die. Why they made that call to move in and save the boy when they did. Few had ever heard of Midland City, Alabama, a peaceful southern town, population 2300, a town that relies on its faith. And no one here ever dreamed that it would be tested after what happened on an ordinary school bus at the end of an ordinary school day set off a six-day siege of terror. It all began when bus driver Chuck Poland, 66 years old, known for calling the school children his kids, brought the bus to a halt, flagged down by two Lee Dykes, lived along the bus route. Dykes would immediately make demands. He wanted two of the children on that bus. And sitting up front, his favorite seat, a bicycle named Ethan. Tell me where Ethan was sitting. Did he usually have a name tag on his seat? He had a name tag up here where it said Ethan. Erica Singletary was on the bus with Ethan. She showed us where she was sitting in the back. She could hear those terrifying demands on the front. You said he could throw.